Hi, I'm Philip Lenos, and I'm presenting on the exam question four regarding Winograd and Sherdlou. Um, I'm the presenter, and the discussants are Alex Price and Miranda Bean. So, modeling linguistics. How do we model how we store and use linguistics? So, we use a machine that has linguistic understanding, and we build it to represent how humans store and use linguistics. Early programs such as ELISA were incapable of this. So ELISA does not analyze syntactic structure or meaning, it only responds to certain cues. And here's an example of a conversation a person is having with ELISA, ELISA being in the uppercase conversations. And you can see it's kind of just restructuring the um, person's statements to kind of reiterate what they said. And it's not very, and it's just, it's not very, anal it's not analyzing anything very well. Um, so, Terry Winograd's dissertation in 1970 involved Sherdlou, and Sherdlou was the first attempt to create a program that's capable of using language to report its, on its environments. And to do this, it can plan actions and be reason about implications of what's being said to it. And it's programmed to, de to deal with a very limited micro world. And Sherdlou consists of, as you can see from figure 2.1, colored blocks, colored pyramids, and a box. And they're all different colors, different shapes, different sizes, and they're all oriented on this screen in different ways and they can be moved around. And Sherdlou is capable of many things, including picking up items, moving them and putting them into the box and answering statements or questions based on what is going on in its environment. Very um, sophisticated, but again, it's limited to this micro world. So it was a major milestone because one, it was an excellent representation of how abstract rules and principles can be implemented. So if we assume a speaker's understanding of language is best understood as a body of knowledge, then Sherdlou provided a model for how it would be represented by a cognitive system. So in that case, it was an excellent representation. Two, it illustrates the approach of trying to understand and model cognitive systems by using distinct components. These components are completely isolated and can work together in solving problems, much like the system for our cognitive brain or our cognitive functions. And three, it is based on the assumption that language is an algorithmic process and all these components discussed in the previous statement work algorithmically to solve these problems. Finally, it's modern relevance. Sherdlou does fall very short of modeling human language, although it does, some, it does have some very good strengths in certain areas. Um, it does have a very small, small micro world. It's very incapable of working with unconnected questions and answers rel related to its micro world and no components attempting to make sense of its surrounding, surroundings in itself. So therefore I found it very hard to argue that Sherlock is very relevant anymore in a modern sense. So that's uh, my presentation on exam question four. I just wanted to thank you for listening. Thank you.